I, we, we get to the bowl game and we, we see all so much of uh, Wake Forest Nation, so much of Deacon Nation showed out at the stadium and to see that when you get off the bus to have so many people that are cheering for you and um, you know if, if, if you weren't excited for that then something was wrong with you you know. I know we were ready you know this is the first we wanted to get the first winning season for a while uh, for Wake Forest and that was on our minds um, to finish the season the right way because I felt like our team deserved that. We, we, we've been working so hard all year in the past three years that we really deserved that bowl win and we wanted it. We knew if we went out there and we executed, we put in more work than we ever have for that game and I think the result at the end showed that. Uh, we understood what we was there for. I mean, we had our times where we had supposed to have fun and we had our times where we had to do business. So, I mean, when it was on the football field, it was all business. When it was time for us to have fun, it was time to have fun. But the purpose of really going there was to win a football game. The whole week was, was really, really special. Uh, uh, you know, when you looked up in those stands and you saw all those Wake Forest fans, and uh, it, that that was uh, a great a great event. I was just very I was very nervous. Like this this is my last game, my my first bowl game. I wasn't really sure like what to expect. Like I walked out, like I see I see a, a really like big crowd. But one, once the game started, I, I really just settled down and everything just came easy. When you're prepared, you're always confident. And going in, I felt good about it. I felt good about our game plan and uh, we started to see that execution in that first half. It is a picture-perfect day for college football here in Annapolis, just off the Naval Academy campus. To start, you know, I'm gonna pump the screen to Tabari, and hopefully um, you know, that gets some of the defense to bite. So when I pumped it, um, I knew Cam had a one-on-one -on -one matchup down the middle, and he's my first read there, so I looked at him, and he smoked the guy, so uh, you know, that's one of the easier touchdowns I'll ever get to throw. I kind of came off the ball and, and looked at him for a second and kind of stuttered for like just a quick half second and his eyes left me and I, was, and I just went right by him and he forgot to run with me, I guess. It was just a great feeling looking up in the stands and seeing like all of Wake Forest alumni and current students and supporters everywhere. And that was just one of the most, that's probably one of the most special feelings of my college career, just looking in the stands. Uh, it's a great feeling, um, especially for the team to get the momentum back our way and uh, to continue to execute going into that first half. Uh, we was going up tempo at the moment. Uh, they was pretty tired, so we were just playing numbers games. If they didn't put enough numbers on that side, we was going to take our matchup with the two for two or the one on two, and it was a two for two, and the man went over top of the block, so it was great for me just to cut in and just run full speed to get in the end zone. I'm picking a guy to read. They're always reading uh, their outside linebacker. Um, he jumps into the box uh, to play the run, and I pull it and throw the bubble screen to Bari. Um, and you know, we like our odds with him one-on-one -on -one with a safety or a corner. So he made the guy miss, cuts it back, scores a touchdown, and, and once again we're excited because we're moving the football. When they make turnovers, you got to capitalize. So um, we always talk about turnover margin and points off turnovers. Anytime you know, another team turns the ball over, our mentality as an offense is to go down and score and we're able to do that. And that's one of the plays where, all right, we're gonna follow, we're gonna follow the big guys on this one. I've got uh, Pike 41 out there on the wing and I've got um, Josh Harris pulling front side. So I'm following big center Josh Harris and I see him, um, he pulls, gets to the front side and uh, leaves me one on one with a linebacker, which is, that's what we ask for. That's all that we, that's all we can ask for. That's what we want. So we see that matchup and we're excited about it. Um, closing in on a five yard line and from there it's uh you know it was, it was me and one linebacker to get there and that's that's uh that's a dream for a running back to have one guy in between him and the end zone and and uh <laughs> to the flex I think that speaks for itself how excited I was and you know how much uh passion was into the goes into the way I play and and looking up and seeing the so many people freaking out in the stands and to see so much uh, black and gold out there and you know to have the teammates and and Ty Hayworth ready to pick me up as we do when we score, you know, it's just a, that was, that was one of the moments where you really, you kind of feel surreal and you feel on top of the world because it was, everything came together on the play and, and you know, you're there to celebrate with your guys and you see such a great fan base in the stands. Um, that was, that was a special play. I was, I was elated. I, you know, Johnny's a player who's, who's been around for four years um, and he's always bought into his role. So I have tremendous respect for him and he's super fast. So. I knew it was just a matter of time. You know, he'd broken a few the, the entire year, and they'd always get called back. Um, but for him to get it on that play, you know, him being a senior, him working through this whole process, and then having a, an amazing kick return uh, to really close out the game was an awesome feeling. I was, I was barely able to move my head, but I was running down the sideline. 
Yeah, I mean, the good thing is we have a defense that we trust, you know, no matter what happens, we trust that our defense. I know like uh, se a second and short play like that, especially on passing down, like to expect the out route. So I tried, so I cheated a, a little bit, but I just focused on the man and threw that punch that we practice every single day in practice. You know, Duke's one of the best pass rushers in the country, but that play right there really was was amazing. Like I was I wasn't even expecting it. Like, okay, it's a little run. I didn't expect him to get much of it, but to get it like a, a four yard loss was huge. Like he just beat his man and, and got back there. Um, like Duke he played great for us all season and he's just such a great player that he just stepped up really big. Uh, I mean it was huge for me. Uh, this team we've been through so much. Uh, We've been fighting since like the new staff got here. We always seem to be so close, but never really got to really put together. But this year, like we really came together as a team. Like we worked hard. We watched more film than I think we ever watched this season, and the results paid off. I mean, our defense played good all year. I mean, they they bailed us out a whole lot of games. I mean, I I stand behind our defense in anything. They're a good squad, and just seeing that we got the ball back with a minute left, and that we was gonna win the game, is just like a surreal feeling. Like. We finally did it. We finally a bold championship team. We finally won the ring. All that hard work through all the season it ends on the right note. All that bold practice ends on the right note, and I just, it was a nice feeling. I didn't even want to go on the field for the last couple of plays. I just want to be on the sideline celebrate. So I was trying to find a Gatorade, Gatorade to get Clawson, and it just was one of those feeling like, felt like I was in high school again. 34-26, Wake Forest over Temple. To come and have you know, the game finally over, everybody's on the field, you know, I even find my, uh, some of my family members out there and, and there's so many, so many guys, so many students from school that are just freaking out and they're excited and uh, that's what it's about, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those times when you can just, um, you know, you celebrate with each other and that's what's so cool is, you know, we've got uh, the team here, your teammates who, your fifth year seniors are just so overwhelmed and overcome with emotions because they've put so much into this program and to see us take that step forward, um, that's something that these guys have worked so hard for, and you know, um, I was just so proud of them and, and, and excited to be able to celebrate with those guys. It's not like I can just breathe, you know. Uh, during the game, I try not to get too high, I try not to get too low. But once that happened, like, it kind of hit me that we just we just won our bowl game. Uh, we're bowl champions. It was so exciting. Like tears started coming down because I knew how much it meant to uh, to me and the rest of the, the seniors, as, uh, as well as the coaching staff. It's very important. It's always very important to end the season off with a win because, I mean, it has moment, it gives us momentum to go into the next season. So, I mean, it just showed us that we can play with teams like the number 25 ranked team as in Temple, and it shows that if we come together as one, we're able to play with any team in the country. Well, first of all, you know, it, it was my, my last time to be on the sideline when <laughs> I can't tell you how special it was. I mean, it was uh, a, you know a chance in a lifetime, and uh, to go out with a with a win, and especially it was it was great for these guys because, like I said, they have worked so hard, and they really deserve this win. That was absolutely unreal. It was just looking around and like you see everyone going crazy with the gold and black everywhere, and. People just, it's it just so happy and it was just like a time and that was by far, like if I picture one moment from my college career so far, it's that moment and it was just, that whole experience at the Bowl Week was just unreal for us and one of the coolest things I've ever experienced.